And as the Bulls are battling for a playoff spot, the Blackhawks are already in preparation for their opening round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. After a day off yesterday, the Hawks were back to work as they get ready for Game 1 Friday night against the Nashville Predators. The Hawks should have a great deal of confidence entering the series. Considering they dominated Nashville during the regular season, the Hawks also will get a boost as Troy Brower returned to practice. With more on the Hawks, here's Chris Bowden. He came under criticism for last year's playoff beard, or lack of, so Patrick Kane's strategy this year seems to be playoff mullet? <laughs> kind of looked like uh, a little bit, a little trashy for a little bit, but uh, <laughs> I think it's fun and um, the boys all got a good laugh out of it, so uh, that's, that's what it's all about. One Hawk smiling a little more than a week ago is Kane's line mate Troy Brower, who left the team after a medical emergency involving his father, who is now getting better. The team was very, very great. Uh, generous in letting me go home and, and uh, you know, take as much time as I needed, and, and uh, I think they're happy to have me back. But, uh, uh, no, it, it was okay, and, and uh, you know, they're very, very supportive through this whole thing. The Hawks had finally regained momentum by winning six of their last seven, so would they have preferred not to have this four-day layoff before getting back to business? I don't mind the fact that, uh, you know, coming off that five and eight days to finish the season and have some time to uh, catch our breath because we had to play every game like uh, we had to win the game didn't give us the luxury of uh, maybe taking a, a break with certain guys getting rested. So it was a uh, puts us in a spot we should uh, use this time to refresh ourselves and get excited about starting. And uh, the schedule is the way it is, and you have to deal with it. These Hawks answered the question six and a half months ago about expectations and the huge target on their backs with 112 points. They certainly won't come up and surprise anyone in this postseason, entering as one of the favorites. So the expectation questions begin again. We understand now that uh, to get all the way back to where we were and then beyond that, which obviously is our goal, um, you're going to have to battle some adversity at, at a certain point where uh, whether you're, you're down a game in a series or things aren't looking too good for, for you, you got to find a way to, to persist through that and, and uh you know, whether we have that in the first round or, you know, doesn't matter when. Um, that's, I think, it is how that experience is really going to help us this year. With the Blackhawks, Chris Bowden, Comcast Sportsnet. Thanks, Chris. Despite beating the Predators in four of their six regular season meetings this season, the Hawks will not enter into the opening round series looking ahead. They haven't played Nashville since December, and the Predators are a much different and much improved team since that time. So don't think the Hawks will get fooled by the number seven seed beside the Nashville logo. They're a hard-working team. That's, that's uh, how they've had success all year. Um, they don't take any shortcuts, and they're definitely not an easy team to play against. So we know that going into it, that uh, they've made uh, some big strides you know, over the years since we've seen them. So um, they're a different team, and we can expect that So just because uh, uh, they're the seventh seed, and, and we're the second that uh, goes right out, out the window, I think, in game one. So, um, you know, again, we're, we, we've come a long way. We've got a lot of experience, so it's time to use that and, and try and get off to a good start in the series.